Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer or subscriber sent me this file, and her customer really loves this font, but does not like this part of the L where it expands out. And she told me she's going to use it quite a few times, so she just sent me these two words, and I thought I'd show, share how I would do it. This is a font, so we're going to go Control K and break it apart. Now we just have the L. We want to go to convert it to a curve, and that's going to give us nodes. Now we're going to zoom in here, and we're just going to start taking some of these nodes away. Try not to get them on the other bar. And you could actually bring this one down. And, uh, you know, there, I'm not going to do it for her. I'm just showing her how to do it. Maybe take it and make sure this is a curve. And it is. So then just take your line and just bring it down. That doesn't look half bad. It's probably a little bit thicker on the bottom. Just a hair. So we can bring this node up. And for the video, that's good enough. So what you need to do if you're going to use it multiple times, once you, I would suggest you make all your fonts the same size. And then instead of doing that again on this one, just go Control K and you'll have that L broken out. And if you wanted to put it in the right exact spot, let's convert that, that L to a yellow. Now let's make a duplicate of our new L, Control D, and let's bring it over to the new L. It's right on top. Now, what I would do is my nudge, let's see how big these are huge. That's well, five inches. So let's set our nudge factor on six inches. Let's just click on, we don't know which one we're getting. We got the yellow, and that's what we needed. We just moved it out of the way. Now, both L's look exactly the same, and you could use it multiple times. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.